Hello and welcome back to my next smartwatch review. This is the North Edge CrossFit 3 smartwatch. Now I bought this with the money generated from this YouTube channel. That can only happen uh, if you like this video or like any of my smartwatch videos. Uh, leave a comment, share it with your friends, go check out my smartwatch and fitness tracker playlist on YouTube. Any revenue I make there, I invest right back into this channel. Oh, this is nice. This watch comes kind of wrapped in a, a pillow, um, which you don't really see. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's really nice. That's a nice touch. Makes it look kind of high-end, very uh, elegant. I like this band. This happens to be a two-color band. It's kind of grayish on the back black on the front these uh, bands the little keeper things have little prongs that pop into the holes in the band so these will not slide around and it's got two of them already i like that um th this watch i picked out myself because it is a gps watch that has kayaking mode and the company told me that when you start kayaking mode it actually starts the gps so i been looking for a watch that does this in the budget range and I think this one might be it so let's see what comes in the package there's the North Edge warranty card there's the CrossFit 3 user guide I like to take a quick look here to see how big and comprehensive the directions are looks good easily readable big the uh app here is going to be z Roner, which i already have on my phone which is great i think this is the second north edge watch review i've ever done it has a magnetic charging cable and this will snap onto the back of the watch magnetically to charge it thusly all right let me press the button to see if there is any juice in the watch out of the box uh oh let's peel off that screen protector yeah okay so yes um it's got some juice i will go set this thing up yeah english it's got a nice big display it's going to look good on the wrist oh my goodness i'm so excited to finally bring you a budget gps watch that also does kayaking if you've never seen one of my smartwatch reviews then you don't know that i'm going to charge this up and then wear it for several days engage in whatever activities or as many as i can that are available on this watch and then i'll come back and do my full fair and honest review um just like out of the box i like this thing let's see if we can find kayaking right away um, i doubt it with so many sports modes i think this has 120 plus um, oftentimes you have to go to the app and load the ones you want oh let's go to custom and let's see if kayaking is here. I bet it is. I'll, we will find it somewhere on this list. And let's just do this in real time. This is the first time I've touched this watch. There's rowing machine. Swimming. Let's hit the plus to find some more. There's basic strength training, push-ups, Pilates. We're learning together here, folks, in real time. Free training, dumbbells. There's indoor. If we can get to an outdoor menu, maybe... There will be some kayaking, parallel bars, pull-ups, stepper, step exercises, stretching, Zumba, ball, various ball sports. <laughs> That's funny. Aquatics. We're getting close. Rafting, jet ski, open water, SUP, which stands for stand-up paddle boring, rowing boat, rowing, sailing. Oh, no. Where's kayaking? There it is! Kayaking! Kayaking is here! So I've added that to the main menu now, kayaking, and hopefully when I hit go, it will turn on GPS. So next time I'm out kayaking, I'll, I'll give this a shot. All right, this is going to tell me the exercise was too short. Yeah, I'm excited. The CrossFit 3 by North Edge. Can't wait to bring this whole review to you uh, in a few days, but to you, it's just going to be a couple seconds. All right, I'm back. I've been wearing this watch for several days. It's got a nice bright display. That would be a 1.43 inch screen with 466 by 466 pixels. This watch has an altimeter with a compass and air pressure. It's GPS with uh, GLONASS and Baidu and, uh, you know, whatever they 
satellites are up there. It's five atmosphere waterproof, which is pretty awesome. That means you can take this watch to 50 meters underwater. It will do continuous heart rate. It's got 130 sports modes, uh, does SPO2, which is blood oxygen saturation, and uh, will do your blood pressure, and it's got a 500 milliamp hour battery that will last you five to seven days in normal use. Um, and if you use it lightly, maybe up to 15 to 20 days. Um, we start at the first screen here. I like this watch face, but we scroll to the swipe from right to left. You get your training status. I don't, this does VO2 max somehow. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I'll have to read the instructions a little bit more than I have so far. But uh, here is a screen where it will do your blood pressure, and this seems to be fairly reasonable. Okay, uh, it will measure a stress level, and uh, it does. The, it, this is kind of a neat thing. It's it's sort of like an, an HRV measurement where it tells you how much stress you're under. Here's your blood oxygen saturation. This is all just using the green diode. Here's a little progress bar of, you know, your steps for the day, calorie burn and whatnot, time engaged in activities. Um, and then you're back to the beginning. To get to the sports modes, you press this button twice. You can get to your workouts. There's running, cycling, outdoor walking, hiking, elliptical. Now, there's a lot of uh, different sports in here. There's my favorite kayaking, all right, and strength training. Um, yeah, and there are a lot more in the app on the phone that you can download to the watch. So you can add your favorites here and actually get rid of the ones you don't like. Here's kayaking. I did a kayak workout today. My active time was an hour and 58 minutes. Total energy burn, uh, a little over a thousand kilocalories. My average heart rate, my heart rate curve. This is all pretty cool stuff. Really good information to have. There's the time spent in various cardio zones, fat burning, warm up, aerobic, anaerobic, ex uh, anaerobic and extreme. That's all you get. It did not turn GPS on while kayaking, which is a disappointment. That's really why I bought this watch. Uh, so no GPS while kayaking. Here's one of my strength workouts in the gym, 38 minutes. Again, it just gives you your kilocalorie burn, time engaged. Uh, in the activity, your average heart rate, your heart rate curve. It's going to do this for the vast majority of all sports modes, all right? But if you are walking or hiking, um, then it will uh, turn on the GPS. And one little trick I learned here, if you go to start a workout, and let's say I tell it I'm going to go on a hike, there's a little cogwheel here, the little gear. If you press that, then it asks you if you want to use the GPS trace. Only if it has that little cog will it turn on GPS. So uh, if I go back to kayaking, you will see it indeed does not have that little cog wheel, so it will not turn on GPS while kayaking. Big disappointment in my book, but um, overall I like the looks of the watch. It's not going to be my favorite. It, it just isn't. Um, here are the various sports you can add. Um, here's the plus screen, and you can just go through and through and through and look and find the sports you want. You can add them to that main menu if you want under exercises. Um, if we keep on scrolling down here, there's your watch faces. You can do a custom dial. Here are some of the standard ones that come with it. Uh, there's a lot more dial faces in the app. Again, you can download load those to the watch. Uh, your altitude and barometer, your compass, heart health. This will do sort of auto, auto heart tracking uh, if you have that enabled. Uh, breath training, I've never ever ever used that in any smartwatch, so I can't speak to that feature at all. Um, it's got a stopwatch and a countdown timer, very cool language. You can get into settings, you can set it to either 12 or 24 hour time, uh, 24 hour heart rate, continuous heart rate measurement. Uh, measurement. Um, this is one of the few smartwatches where you can set the date and set the time right from the watch. You don't have to necessarily sync it with your phone to set the date and time, which is the number one question on my YouTube smartwatch videos is how do I set the time or how do I set the date? The answer is almost always sync it with your phone. But this watch, you can set it right here on the watch. Um, there's your about. It tells you the version. Um, you know, all kind of cool. It pulls in messages from your phone when paired with Bluetooth. That works just fine. Uh, let's go look at the app. As I mentioned at the top of the video, the app here is called Zeroner. 
it's a pretty good app. Here's your activity for the day. If you press on that, um, it gives you your daily activities. Uh, it tells you how many steps you took. It gives you a little breakdown of your, you know, what times of the day you were most active. Uh, here, I went for a little walk. Um, right here. Oh, oh, this is a little quirk of this, and I'll get back to this in a second. This is just a summary of everything you did. Um, here's my kayaking activity. Again, it just gives you the number of minutes engaged in the activity, and you kill a calorie burn. Summary up at the top. Um, if we go back here, here is uh, sort of your exercise log. All right, now if I click on hiking, now I can get into the when I put it into hiking mode. I only took a few steps, really to uh, test it and it does you know when you turn the GPS on in these modes it does track it it keeps track of your steps so that's pretty cool GPS works just fine um, but you don't have all of your exercises here uh, in this portion I, I just don't I don't understand why they're in two different places you have your activities here and then also up here uh, kept in log format okay whatever um, here's your sleep. The sleep I find is just not good at all. Um, it, it will sleep your uh, track your deep sleep versus light sleep, your total sleep. Um, there were days here where it only it said I only slept like two or three or four hours, which was just absolutely wrong. There were some days where it didn't track sleep at all. It just never even detected that I was asleep. Here's one that only recorded two hours and 36 minutes. That's just wrong. So I don't trust this thing at all for sleep tracking. Continuous heart rate seems to be fairly credible. All right, uh, there's today, and I can scroll back through you know previous days and whatnot. Seems all right. Blood oxygen saturation is here. Again, you can scroll back through the days and look at when you took your measurements, your heart health. Um, this just doesn't really seem to track much. Here's your Lorentz uh, scatter diagram. This is kind of, you know, when you're doing that stress measurement like I alluded to, it's really kind of doing some form of HRV to indica <clears throat> indicate, you know, what your heart rate variability is. This just calls it a stress measurement. Um, the lower the number here, the better. That means you're under less stress. But in general, the uh, higher your heart rate variability, the better, the more relaxed you are, the less regular your heartbeat is, which sounds weird, but trust me on that one. And this is that stress kind of with, you know, that the playoff of HRV. That's about it for the device. It can pull in weather from your phone. It's got a remote camera trigger. Here are all your uh, dial faces. There's tons of them in here. Um, I'm obviously choosing, I'm using the one that I like the best that I found. Um, you can uh, set smart reminders, sedentary reminders. You can choose to uh, have the watch face turn on when you're, you lift your wrist. Um, you can choose uh, with this one whether you're wearing it on your left or right hand. Change Celsius to Fahrenheit, date format, okay, univer uh, unit of measurement, either imperial or centigrade. You know, all basic. There's the profile, north edge. Um, so, um, you know, you can set goals. You, here are your settings. Again, um, some of the basic stuff. It's a fairly basic app. Um, nothing special, nothing too fancy here. And again, I find it odd that you have sports modes here, but not all of them. All right. Free training, ball games. Um, I, I just don't know why they chose those. Maybe those are the ones that are on the watch. I don't know. But I don't see kayaking here, so that's not either. I don't get it. And I don't fully understand why they put some there and then in the activity log they just dump all of it. So, I don't know, a little confusing. Basic app, but it's good. It, it, it gets the job done. So there you have it. It's the North Edge CrossFit 3 GPS smartwatch. My bottom line is, is it worth it? I, I don't think so. Um, I kind of review budget smartwatches here. I was very hopeful for this one. On the North Edge website, this is selling for $75. I bought it on AliExpress for, I don't know, it's a little over $60. Um, honestly, I'm disappointed. It does not track sleep well. It does not turn on GPS when I'm kayaking. This really doesn't give me anything in a smartwatch that I haven't already had uh, in one of my other smartwatches. Yes, it's a beautiful display. Um, it's got some neat features, but it's nothing 
fancy. It's nothing special. So if you want a rugged waterproof watch with an altimeter um, and air pressure and a compass with GPS, I'd say, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it does that all credibly. Um, but would I recommend this for $75? I, I, no, I don't think so. You can, you can get a watch of this caliber um, for less money, um, even with GPS. So, you know, that, that's the bottom line. Uh, you know, like this video, subscribe to this channel. This channel really supports my kayak company, which is called Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. I do these smartwatch reviews really just as a way to monetize my YouTube channel a bit to support my business. Uh, so, yeah, if you would just spread the word, like my videos, check out the smartwatch and fitness tracker uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. And, you know, visit me at DaveTheKayaker.com. And uh, I don't have any more smart watches in the queue right now. Um, Amazfit, if you're watching, you know, please send me a review unit for your next generation smart watch that does GPS and turns it on while I'm kayaking. And I will do a full, fair, honest review for you. That's the North Edge CrossFit 3. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history. You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. West Side Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.